Has anyone heard of G2A? Now, if you played PC games, you are probably saying yes to this question. And this video is going to be me talking about it, but everyone has put their two cents in about G2A. And this is going to be something different, because yes, while there's going to be a lot of similarities to other videos slated in G2A, this is something that I wanted to bring up, because the last few days, G2A have introduced another horrendous scheme. Another scheme to get as much money out of their customers as possible. Another scheme to make sure that they can swindle you out of all your well-earned pennies for no apparent reason. Now this video is probably going to be a bit of a ranty video, so make sure you sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video on G2A's new biggest scam. First off, let's cover what G2A is. Well, G2A is a key reseller website, but unlike a lot of them, it works more like eBay. For example, if you buy some games and you already have them, or maybe you buy a games bundle from like Couple Bundle and there's some in there that you want but others that you don't really want, you can sell the games that you don't really want on G2A, a bit like eBay. They can't be used game keys, but you can just sell some unused ones that are just lying around to other people and they can buy it off you. It seems like it should be a great idea. I mean, everyone wins. People get games for a bit less of the price as they were if they're going to buy it on Steam or some other website. And you get to get rid of your games for a little bit of cash, which is great. It seems like it should be fantastic. But the one problem is G2A, the company themselves. There's no problem with this concept. I mean, this has been done before and it's been done pretty well. I mean, it goes on to other stuff, but like I said, eBay is a very similar business model and they're one of the biggest companies in the world. So why did G2A mess it up and why are they such a controversial company when it comes to the gaming industry and why do they seem to be killing it? Well, this is because the regulations and the grey market, they tend to not like to regulate their keys. Yeah, they say they do and legally speaking, they're not doing anything illegal themselves but they're not stopping anyone else from doing these illegal things. There's been multiple cases of people using hot credit cards to buy masses and masses of game keys and then resell them. Now, a hot credit card is essentially a stolen credit card. So they'll go, they'll steal someone's credit card information, they'll go to a website, they'll buy a load of Steam keys and then resell them on G2A so they'll get a tidy profit from this. And, I mean, it's a way of, it's a way of somewhat illegally laundering money, but G2A don't really seem to care. Now, of course, they say they do, and there's a lot of things in place, like the G2A shield and things. If you get an invalid game key, they'll refund you, but the G2A shield is a little bit, you know, insecure. A lot of people don't want to pay that extra three quid for that G2A shield because they don't have that money. But but they might not be able to use that G2A because they don't have that money to put it in for the G2A shield. That's the reason they've gone to G2A for the cheaper games in the first place. So, it's a bit of a problem, especially when G2A Shield, that's another story, but there's been a lot of problems with the membership of that, of it actually being so impossible to actually get out of the membership and they end up charging you new things. But what is this new scheme that they put up and the reason that I'm making this video? Well, well this is to do with the G2A inactivity scheme. Now, many of you might have got these emails in the past few days because it's only really just come into fruition. and. I did as well, and when I saw it, I couldn't quite believe what I was seeing. Now, anyone that's used G2A knows that it's not the best place to get game keys. It doesn't support developers, so they don't really get anything from it, and it's it's not really something that you should be doing, in my personal opinion, but even when I'm saying that, I have used it in the past. When I first started PC gaming, I didn't have the money to buy loads of PC games, so G2A might have been the best option for me as a younger kid playing games wanting to get the games but not having the money to buy them at full price. So I had an account on G2A. But of course I haven't used it in a long long time because I found out about where they got these keys from and what they were doing with them and how sketchy it was and how the game developers weren't actually getting anything from it. So I left my account and I just didn't log back in for a while. I got an email saying I hadn't logged in for 180 days so each month they'll be charging me a one euro inactivity fee. Now one euro is basically nothing, it really isn't going to cost me anything, but the sheer fact that they are now charging you 
to not only use their site with things like G2A Shield and constantly trying to promote their memberships and things that by I might add once you're in their memberships it is so hard to get out there are plenty of videos of people joining these memberships and then not being able to get out at all I've been looking through reddit posts of them actually just taking money and you not being able to do anything about it not being able to refund any games even when you're purchasing G2A Shield and some really sketchy things going on like that but even you not using their site now will cost you money if you have signed up in the past to G2A and you have not logged in for 180 days they will charge you one euro a month for not logging in so of course I did the thing that you'd normally do and I went in and I deleted my account which if you don't use G2A at all that's great but please go and delete your account now because if you don't they will start charging you for being inactive on their site and even me just saying that just seems like a completely ridiculous thing to say how can you charge someone to not use your site it's not costing them anything to have these accounts on them it's just another way for them to swindle money out of a customer and i think it's absolutely disgusting i i can't believe that a company that is so big and successful as g2way can do something like this and get away with it i mean imagine if you were using microsoft or you had an xbox live account Imagine if you shut down your Xbox Live account and they still charged you because you hadn't logged into your Xbox Live account for a while. What if you're not using it anymore? But you'll see in the screenshot here that when I went to delete my account, it said that in the next 14 days, if I logged in to G2A, maybe if I loaded up the site by accident or I logged into the account or whatever, it would renew my account and continue charging me. Which, once again, is something that I find completely... And utterly ridiculous now because of this there's been a lot of uproar of course on reddit and things but I don't think anyone's really said that much on YouTube or I've not really heard anything else about it other than for this video I went to see if anyone had said anything and on reddit there are a few posts but there's not been any like big things coming up to say that this is wrong and that it needs to be stopped what I'm gonna say now is go to your G2A if you have an account and delete your account I would recommend you not using G2A at all from the way that if you do, if you like a game and you want to get it, why buy it on G2A? Because the whole point of playing games that you love is because you get entertainment of it and sort of buying a game is almost saying thank you to the developer for making this game and giving them a small percentage of what you buy for it, which is how the gaming industry works and why the gaming industry is the biggest industry in the world today. And G2A is one of those websites that will completely ruin that because you're not supporting the game devs if you do this. You're not supporting anyone but G2A themselves. So I'm going to end this video here. I know it's been a bit of a ranty. There's probably been a bit messy video. But I have just sort of got a little bit annoyed when I got an email saying that they were charging me for not using their website. And that sentence in itself completely blows my mind. So I would love you guys to tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you've had a great Christmas. But thank you so much for watching, and until then, I will see you in the next one.